Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional. Today we're in Acts chapter 13. I'm going to be reading verses 4 through 12. It says, So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they set sail to Cyprus. And when they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John to assist them. But when they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they came upon a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, a man of intelligence, who summoned Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the magician, for that's the meaning of his name, opposed them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, you son of the devil, you enemy of all unrighteousness, <laughs> Full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you will be blind, unable to see the sun for a time. Immediately a mist and darkness fell upon him, and he went about seeking people to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul believed when he saw what had occurred, for he was astonished at the teaching of the Lord. So this is an interesting situation, right? Saul, who is blinded on the road to Damascus, passes on the same affliction to somebody else. <laughs> it's got a laughable, right? And it ain't karma. <laughs> it's just the declaration of God against those who would seek to harm the name of God. Yet, on the flip side, this became a rather convincing proof for a pretty influential, wise Roman leader, Sergius Paulus. You know, when I read stories like this, I'm always reminded of the wisdom of Gamaliel in Acts chapter 5, verses 38 through 39. You probably remember what he said, but he said this. He said, I tell you, keep away from these men, let them alone. For if this plan is an undertaking of man, it will fail. But if it's of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. <laughs> You know, Gamaliel is spot on right here. You either want to join with what God is doing or you need to stay out of his way <laughs> because his plan will always come to pass. And life is a lot more enjoyable when we participate in what God is doing. <laughs> in this situation, I think it was pretty clear that Bar-Jesus was working against the plan and the will of God. All Paul needed to do was insert himself appropriately. So today, do this. Be on the lookout for God's will. God is doing all kinds of incredible things. And then, and then choose to participate in what God is doing. For when you insert yourself into his story, he literally writes history through you. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this, share it with somebody else. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.